What's up guys, we're gonna bro beat. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make drum fills from scratch. If you guys haven't subbed already or turn post on, make sure do so, because those a bit a lot. So let's just hop right into it. Um, we're not gonna waste no time. I will be changing the BPM just so we can kind of make multiple, but in this first one, what I'm gonna do is kind of just go over basics and things you should know when trying to make these. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so before we get started, I just wanna show you these MIDI loops. So you can use these to kind of start off your drum fills or you can just use them as drums but they have a bunch of presets you can use so i just want to make sure y'all know that these are here right you can alter these to make it a drum fill or whatever right so i just want to make sure you know that's there so let's get started with this one and this was pretty much going to be like the practice one because i want to show you the things that you need in order for these to work um so the first thing would be the grid so basically to put it simply the step grid in my opinion is the best for this um, you could use a B grid, but I feel like it's too large and you don't really know exactly where to put it And you'll find yourself doing this a lot Trying to find the right spot um, So I think the step grid is a little bit easier And then next I'll kind of just talk about velocity, but let's actually get a pattern down um, So let's I guess we can Do like a little snare flam kind of like that And then let's do like this little tom thing, right? Okay, now that sounds terrible. So one of the things is the note length matters too. So like these open hats and stuff, you kind of want to pull those out. Um, we could pull the snares out a bit too. Let's just pull all of them. Okay. So they kind of leak over one another. Um, so um, why it sounds terrible, right? It sounds terrible because we have not messed with the velocity and that is probably I want to say the, the the number one most important thing besides the placement um, So let's edit the velocity. So Well, we can just do this in order. Let's take these and kind of just do something like that And I'm not gonna try to make it perfect, but just at least make it sound decent and then let's make it so let's make these like hit and then we want this snare to pop up right and then over here we can have this last one be the loudest all right so now it sounds a little bit better right um so some other things you can do is add some groove so this is where the grid comes in place um so i i would usually go to the one sixth for this but i will usually highlight everything except the very first notes um, actually, we can probably keep that one and go to one sixth and then you can hold shift in your mouse and you can see up here You can hold that and you can move these over So the places where you want to keep these is like if you look where this square is at You want to move it along that um, And that usually gives you a decent result. So I'll play it All right And then you kind of mess with these and offset things how you like it Okay, and it'll just humanize it a little bit more. Now the last thing would be pitch. Um, so you wanna go to note, find pitch. And the reason I do this is because it's locked. You can lock it to the grid. Um, so basically, you know, you can kinda make it sound like you're playing the instrument in a different way, right? Um, Cause when you hit a drum or something like that, you don't hit it the exact same way every time, right? Which would kinda shift the pitch a little bit. Um, so with these snares, if you want to make it sound like it's going up in an upward motion. Right. And that's just some little extra you can use. You don't need it, but I just want to show you that. All right. So that is the first one. Now, real quick, I'm going to just insert this because I did forget to talk about panning. Um, it's not that important, but it does kind of up the level of your pattern. So um, just a little simple pattern here. Um, if you go to your pan and just panning some sounds left to right can kind of make it sound a little bit better right just something simple like that i'm gonna kind of put these back how they were um let's move on we can just go ahead and do a few more so we're gonna be using everything i show you here in the next parts okay so now we're gonna start with our second one and we just i just kind of labeled this one for the bpm so we can remember um so let's turn this up we can just do a 10 so i, I want to cover a bunch of bpms 
Um, and since it's computerized, it doesn't really matter, right? It's not like a sample. Let's go in here and we can start simple. Um, so we have our little half step grid and really, and I want the, I want to do something like that, right? Okay, right, and that's a simple one you can use. That's, that's like a common one, right? Like you hear that all the time. Um, so we can kind of mess with the velocity a bit. And then with this little same method, right, we could take this and if you want to change the grid, you can, but you don't really need to because you know that somewhere in between here will be the groove that you need, right? Um, so we can just kind of use this shift and pull it back a few. Right, and that's just a simple one right there, right? And that's pretty much it, right? Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We don't gotta do the pitch and all that every single time, right? If you want to, you can, but we don't have to do it every time. Right, it doesn't even sound good every time. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. All right, so let's go ahead and start our third one. So I wanna do a longer one for this. So let's turn the BPM up a little bit more and we just start, so. Let's use our snare and then we want like a little groove here. So, Let's use it. All right, I like that groove. something like that um and we can start adding our little high heads and stuff let's do something like this All right, that's good enough. I'm not gonna dwell on the spaces too much. Move this over and then we can just kind of add some drums. We can make this simple. And if you want to, you can like use a thirds grid, something like that, right? Let's move it over a little bit and let's make these really loud. Let's go back. And then let's let's put this on here. Smooth this over and then let's copy this again and hold shift down until we get to the kick. All right, and then this should sound pretty decent. All right, we could edit some things, but I think that's good enough. So now let's go ahead and move on to our fourth one, I believe. All right, so now this is our fourth one. Um, so let's turn the BPM up a little bit more. Do 120. Um, and let's use another snare. And I'm thinking I want to do like a like a stutter type of thing. So let's go to 1-6. Well, let's place this first. 1-6. And place it right there. And then we can do like a little flam. Something like that. Um, and then let's... Add some. You just kind of use these same little patterns. And then we don't need to always move it over to like we don't got to do this every time. Right? Well, we can, but I don't really see it being a need for this particular pattern. Um, and then we could just put the snare in between.
then pull this over to end it. All right. And of course, I could edit this a little bit more, make it sound a little bit better, but I'm just trying to run through this with you in real time so you can kind of see the shortcuts and all this other stuff, right? So let's move on to the fifth one. All right, so on to our fifth one. It's kind of getting hard to come up with stuff, so um, we can, let's go back down. Let's let's do, we can do 95. Um, so let's start with this and let's do like a basic, Let's make the velocity kind of like this. Turn this down. Just a little bit too much. Okay, I like that. Um, and then and let's move these over. Let's go to one six, move it back. Kind of make use of our grid. All right, that's a pretty decent one. So let's go ahead and move on to our last one. All right, so this is the last one. Um, so let's change the BPM. Let's go down. Let's maybe do like Let's do, yeah, let's do 75. All right. Okay, so now I gotta try to come up with something else. Now this is very creatively draining to do all these back to back. So let's, let's do the one six thing real quick. Try that. Let's move back to our grid so we can kind of keep track. Mess with this velocity. Do something like that. Um, let's move this kick over a bit. Okay, and then we can add some little toms and stuff up here. And then we can just hold Alt to kind of put it on the exact spot. Um, let's use the mid ones. Kind of like that. All right. And then let's do use the low tom and just and then let's hold shift and offset it one. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, I'm done with this. This that's a lot. Um so I'll just go over them real quick. Um, this one is what 75 BPM. So let's play them all back to back real quick. Then we got 95. Okay, it's a little weird switching the BPMs that fast and then hearing it. And then we got 110. That one needs a little bit of work. And then 100. Okay, and then we got 90. Okay, so those are all of them. 
um i will be giving you this template and i do have a um rc20 okay so you can get these presets and everything but it's gonna be for this video hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace